Yo, Cover Moses with you. Welcome. It is about that time. Finally. For 2019 Chrome Hobby, number nine. Put the list up. There it is. And uh, good luck, everybody. Don't just hear from me. Yo. Good luck, everybody. Thank you, Abraham. Good luck, everyone. Here we go. Kids play, you're guessing how many, how many what? Oh, Jordan, thank you for telling me that. I thought I took that out. How many, like, naps I take? Yeah, how about we go with zero? And where the hell is this thing? There it is. Jordan, you the real MVP. Appreciate you telling me that. I got so excited that I filled it that I did not take it out of the store. So it's at the store now. First box, here we go. Good luck, everybody. Brett Keller Royals, rookie auto. Uh, no, Rory, we are on completely online. If we had a physical store, that'd be kind of cool. You know, then we could sell Upper Deck. Nice! And that is how you start it. Peter Alonso. 
Blue to 150. That is gorgeous with the Mets colors. I bet it looks even nicer in orange. So we got, man, is that all Jeremy? We got a, I'm sorry, not a Blue Jay. We got a Matt and a, what was the other one? Royals. Is that a photo variation? I think so. Yep. Good eye, Uncle Jesse. Just the Sheffield Mariners. That is a photo variation. I've come a long way since those lonely nights, huh, Bergie? You remember. You've been you've been with me since the struggle days, Bergie. Encarnacion Mariners blue. That's the one fifty. You did, dude. You you helped me out a lot for sure, man. Definitely. Kobe Allard, Braves, Refractor Auto, four ninety nine. Kevin Kramer, Pirates Auto. So a brave and a pirate in this box.
Yonder Alonso White Sox Purple to 299. Uh, Rory, I'll be honest, uh, we don't ship veteran base cards. Nah, not even going to sugarcoat it for you. Uh, we do state so in, in the description on our website of our breaks. Uh, but for breaks like this that have a bunch of uh, veteran base cards, we just we, we don't ship them. But I might do something nice for you. I might. Well, Rory, since you're asking, I will ask something of you as well. If you ever, like, especially in something like that, Send me an email. Ribcitycards at gmail.com. If you're ever missing something or if you ever have like something you want to keep on the down low, FYI, that's kind of something you want to keep on the down low. Because if I say yes to you, then everybody's going to start asking me, oh, can I keep my base? Can I keep my base? And it's just going to be a huge shitstorm. So I, I say it all the time. Discretion is everything with me. So RipCityCards at gmail.com If you ever want to, you know, Ask me something like that. Shoot me and shoot me. Again. Yeah, me, me neither. You know, I, I don't like saying no to people. Well, depends on the situation. Uh, Bergie, you see? No, no, no. Well, the funny part is I know Bergie's fucking around. At least I hope he is. Because I am not sorting through this. And I am not paying a sorter to do it either. Huge waste of time. Uh, see what you started, uh, Rory. All these, all these animals in here. Phil Meyer Royals rookie auto. See, I know they're fucking around, but I can almost guarantee you that someone there thinks I'm being, you know, you know thinks thinks they're being serious. And that's the scary part. I'll do the Astros Green Wave to 99. You got it, Big Greg. You got it. I'll get all that shipped out to you. You know, real, real. Uh, I'll add it to my to-do list. Bryce Wilson, Braves Auto. Yeah, it's like you've got a bunch of sharks in here, man. You know, they can smell blood in the water, and they attack. Ooh, an orange. Corey Seager, Dodgers orange. To 25, very nice.
<laughs> Nick. Well, I'm glad that we all have the same sense of humor. I'll tell you what, Nick. Come to the office here in Miami. And I'll let you walk out with as much base as you can carry. And I'm not joking about that. Probably should have changed the trash. <laughs> I need all your Pikachus for my upcoming bonfire. By the way, that's a nickname we have for him. For Kikuchi. We call him Pikachu. Yeah, no no get no no gasoline needed. Oh, snap. I ain't seen that before. The Freshman Flash insert auto for Chris Shaw of the Giants. Number to 99. Very nice. Squirtle's the best Pokemon. but That's what she said. Literally. I wonder why, Rory. I wonder why you think that. I can I can make so many different jokes about that. It's not even funny. So, for the sake of uh, not getting sued, I'm just gonna move on. Cedric Mullins Orioles autograph. I I always went with Charmander. Because eventually he turns into a dragon. I don't know, a turtle with like gun turrets on its back. Never really uh, amused me. Or like a giant plant. Or it's, it's actually it kind of it looks like a frog. With a big ass plant on its back. No, 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 thank you. Give me that Charmander all day. On Jonathan Simmons, Angels. To 99. Unless we're talking Pokemon Yellow, then give me that Pikachu, baby. Well, you didn't say Blastoise, fair enough, but I mean, what, are you just going to keep the Squirtle in its base form? What kind of loser are you? You got to evolve them. The hell? It's the whole point of Pokemon. Yeah, I never understood why people 
like purposely kept their Pikachu's. Like I, I want that. I want that right you. Yeah, you know, di different strokes, different folks. <laughs> Fair enough, Rory. Fair enough. <laughs> By the way, Rory, I, I got to throw it out there. Uh, my boy who actually helped me get this job, uh, he does Pokemon breaks. So if you're interested, go to PokemonBreaks.com and uh, check out what he's got going on. My boy Mario, I believe is he still streams on Twitch. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he streams. I think he streams on YouTube as well. He might be live like right now. Yeah, same here, Rory. I mean, I'm five years older than you, more or less. I was born in 89, and yeah, I, I grew up playing with Pokemon cards, Yu-Gi-Oh, all, all that stuff. Yeah, I'm a huge nerd. I watch anime. But anyways... Box number five here. Nice, a negative for Jake Bowers Indians. DJ Stewart with the shade on for the Orioles. You used to shred Yu-Gi-Oh cards in a fan? You monster. You absolute fiend. I'll banish you to the Shadow Realm. Now, Yu-Gi-Oh was a fun game to play. You know, I, I would secretly meet up with my nerd friends, like after after high school. You know, I, I I would I would secretly go and you know have duels against my nerd friends that nobody knew about until you know they started saying hi to me in the hallways, and then my friends would be like, "Who's that nerd? You know that nerd." And then at first I'd be like, no, nah, I don't know that dude. And then eventually I was just like, you know what? Fuck this shit. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be true to me. So I, you know, stop being ashamed of it. And you'd be surprised how many hood motherfuckers play Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! Like I've seen some of the hoodest dudes cry literal tears. Losing a Yu-Gi-Oh match. I've seen it. I've seen it. Damn, I went through that box pretty fast, dude. Po I, w I dude. I wish I still kept my like original Pokemon cards. Because Pokemon came out when I was in elementary. 
I was in like second, third grade when Pokemon started being a thing. And I used to always hate the rich ass kids that would always show up with those with those binders. You know, with like the starter Pokemon on them. And they would show me like, oh, look at all these cards I got. And they would have like, sometimes they would have like triple of the same card. And I would steal them. You know, I never bought a, well, the only time I ever bought a pack of Pokemon cards was for my boy Mario on his birthday. And I even told him, I was like, look, bro, this is the only, this is the first time I've ever bought a pack of Pokemon cards. I got them like a booster box or whatever the fuck. Because I used to steal them. When I was little, I used to steal them. I was a badass little kid. You know, I would go to Toys R Us and I would steal packs. I would go to fucking KB Toys. Y'all remember KB Toys back in the day? I would steal fucking packs from KB Toys too. I didn't care. Well, I'm gonna, you're going to send me to jail for Pokemon cards? And, you know, I used to steal it from the rich kids. You know, the kids that would be, like, stupid enough to let you hold their binder. So I'd be like, oh, let me see that book, bruh. Let me see that book. And then they'd have, like, five Charizards. Oh, let me get one. Four Blastoises. Oh, let me get one. Four Venusaurs. Oh, let me get one. Two Raichus. Let me get that. You got one Zapdos. I'm going to let that slide. You only got one. You only got one. You got three Moltres, though? Shit. Let me get one. Bro, I was like the Robin Hood of Pokemon back in the day. I say that because eventually I collected, like, I had, like, the entire set. First edition for the, like, original Pokemon. Which I was looking back now, like I was like like earlier, I was watching like a YouTube video of like PSA ten Charizard selling for like twenty grand, like ridiculous amounts of money, and I started thinking to myself, if I had kept all those Pokemon cards, how much money would I have on me right now? And I cried, I shed a tear. I'm not gonna lie, I shed a thug tear. But uh, but I gave it to a friend of mine. Who, uh, he, he used to get bullied a lot growing up. And I used to always like stick up for him. Cause, you know, kid was like autistic. He's autistic and stuff and whatnot. So he's, you know, kind of socially awkward. And he would get picked on a lot. So, you know, and me and him, you know, we used to live. Uh, you know, we're neighbors basically. So, you know, I, I used to stick up for him and whatnot. And when I moved away from that neighborhood, you know, I decided to give him my collection of Pokemon cards. And I don't know if he still has the, I don't know if he still has that collection. But, uh, shout outs, shout out to that dude. Anyway, let's see what we got here. Dude, I, I wish I still had those Pokemon. Bro, I, I, when I tell you I had first edition Charizards and... Oh, my God. Anyway. He probably did, Nick. He probably did. I mean... Yeah, what are you going to do? Cedric Mullins to 99 Orioles. Garcia for the Giants. Yeah, Rory, I, I am aware. I am aware. Yeah, I can't really check emails right now. I mean, I only have two hands. I'm not, a, I'm not an octopus. Oh, wow. That is gorgeous. Photo variation for the Yankees. Aaron, Judge, Sean. And it's almost an eBay 101. 98 out of 99. Very nice. Probably, Nick. I mean, he, he was a high-functioning... Uh, uh, like, he was, like... He was very socially awkward. 
but like he was super smart. You know what I mean? Like he he was in like honors gifted classes and stuff, and and he would get picked on a lot because he was socially awkward. But uh, but no, yeah, dude, very super smart kid. So it would not surprise me if he found the value of him, got him graded, and then was like, "What a dumbass that guy that gave me these cards." And he's probably somewhere in like Dubai with strippers all around him, feeding him grapes. And at least I hope that's what's going on with him. Yeah, I wonder what that judge card's worth. Never seen that variation before. Much less a parallel of it. What do we have there? Array. And we started hot and we kind of fizzled for a bit here. We need to get back on that proverbial horse and get some major dingers, man. Funny enough, freak of nature, that's who I used in my imagine in my imagination just now as inspiration. That dude is currently somewhere in Japan right now. Living it up. It is my lifelong dream to go to Japan. And I would want to I would want to stay there for like at least a couple weeks because I want to visit the entire country like not just Tokyo or Kyoto or like you know the major cities you know, I, I want to go everywhere I want to check out F Mount Fiji you know check out the giant Gundam supposedly there's like a Dragon Ball Z theme park out there I gotta check that out you know, have me official ramen from Japan. Yeah, you know, I, I gotta go visit uh, the dude that made the Kill Bill sword, so I can pick up my very own katana. Dude, Big Greg, come to Miami, bruh. We, we, there's this spot that I found out. My boy put me on. It's open till like four in the morning. Every day. And it's legit, legit ramen. You know, de you know depending on what kind of noodles you want, they have like the udon noodles, which are like the thick ones. Yeah, there's there's a spot in Winwood that sells ramen, uh, but that's not that's not the one that's open till four. The, that one that's open till four is like it's near the end of US one, kind of close to the Gables. I think it's called Ichiraku. I think that's the name of the place. Fire as ramen, like a big ass bowl of ramen. But anyway, now I'm hungry. Mr. Alonso for the White Sox, 299.
But rookie, you're not the rookie I'm looking for for the Blue Jays, but I guess that'll do. Damn it. Big Greg, speaking of spicy, you ever see a show called Hot Ones on YouTube? It might be my favorite thing to see on YouTube. Hunter Renfro, nice. A gold wave for the Padres. To 50. I kind of want to do that one time. Me and Jason. Do like a Hot Ones parody. And like have have like uh have you guys buy the uh the sauces. And you know, and we'll because we're not gonna spend our own money, duh. And we'll, uh, you know, we'll do some, I don't know, just talking shit here. Anyway. You've tried the last dab? It's delicious? Do you, do you have taste buds still, or, or what? Jeff McNeil, Mats. I'm not, I'm not too big on the spicy. I mean, I can handle spicy stuff, but not when it's, like, so hot that, like, you can't enjoy your meal. Like, what's the point of making it so spicy that I can't even eat my meal? Like, that's not cool. You eat fire? I see that. So the rookies go here. All right, we've passed the halfway marker. The last dab. Well, they they need to do an episode with the Rock already. I want I want to see an episode with the Rock. I saw the one with Stone Cold not too long ago. I see like pretty much every episode. I would love to see Jason on Hot Ones. <laughs> Hi, welcome. Uh, I'm Sean from uh, First We Feast. Here we have uh, Jason Gill, a.k.a. the Cardboard Jesus. He's known for his antics on uh, RimCityCards.com. You can check out his YouTube channel and uh, join his breaks as well. Stone Cold episode is badass, Big Greg. Stone Cold seems like a dude that you want to have a beer with. Rory, you ain't seen nothing yet. I mean, Chrome is on the mild side of, of veteran base cards. Wait until you see Heritage.
There you go, a little color. Mitch Keller Pirates. That's a 250. But we literally have our... I want to put a percentage on it. I want to say 20% of our office, 15, 20% of our office is just monster boxes stacked to the ceiling with base cards in them. Dakota Hudson Cardinals. Look out. Now I'm hungry. I went to Taco Bell the other day. I, I just, I had to try that new crunch wrap, that triple double crunch wrap, which is basically just a bigger version of their original, you know, crunch wrap. But it's pretty good. The crunch wrap, the crunch wrap supreme is one of the more underrated items on that Taco Bell menu. It's like it's like eating a taco pizza, kind of sort of. Four left. Chipotle. I mean, there's really no comparison between Chipotle and, and Taco Bell. I mean, one's a fast food chain. The other one is not. But Taco Rico, better than all that. What you know about Taco Rico? P probably don't have that where you're, where you're from. Where do you work at, Rory? If you don't mind me asking. Case hit right there. You got a free guacamole with a veggie bowl. I mean, that bet, they better throw in some, some guacamole in there. If there ain't no meat, complimentary guacamole is the least you could do. You work at Nike? Nice. What do you do at Nike specifically? And can I use your discount? <laughs> Not joking about that second part. All I wear is Nikes. Like, literally, all my shoes are Nike. All of my socks are Nike. Like, I'm working on a sponsorship for Nike. Like, what's his face? Ninja is like the first pro gamer to be sponsored. And he's sponsored by Adidas. I'm trying to be the first breaker sponsored by Nike. That, that would be a, 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 a dream country. Uh, Orange Kikuchi for the Mariners. 
to 25. Newman Pirate Rookie Auto. Man, I don't know. We got a good amount of pirates coming out of this. You do retail for now. Go back to Oregon headquarters, closer to family. I feel you. Where were you living at now? I think you mentioned in Texas. That's awesome, Rory. We got Dugar the Giants. Mike, you're fine. It, it was random teams. So you don't have to draft or anything. You're good. You are good. Negative for Byron Buxton Twins. Nice. And it's an auto. Tommy Pham. With the patch auto gray of to 50 cardinal. Very nice. Ripping that Cedar Park Tex. I'd love to visit Oregon sometime. I used to have a friend that lived up there. And it's nothing but trees, or at least that's what he would post. Whenever he would go on his little adventures. And it'd just be nothing but trees, but very nice looking. Guerrero, Refractor, Blue Jays. Unfortunately, Rory, that's going to happen sometimes. Can't hit in every break. But with that being said, we are not done yet. We still got three boxes left. So stay positive. Oh, I forgot about y'all, Kimmy G. Well, I appreciate that, Rory. I appreciate that. Kimmy, I was waiting for it. <laughs> I was waiting for it. I figured you'd react that way. You know it's not but love. What's up, Fuego Sports? Man, 
You know, Big Greg is from Oregon. So is Cami and Cupcake. And we, we got a few of the Rip City fam all the way over there in Oregon. What? Why did the Nightbot do that? What the hell? Oh wow, really Nightbot? <laughs> Sorry about that, uh, Fuego. My Nightbot is uh, a little mean sometimes. So... I, I don't know what the hell my my night butt is tripping about over here. Let me disable this stuff here. So my night butt is basically what I use to like keep some of the spammers away. So I, I don't know what you posted, but anyway. Yeah, we're doing a little chrome baseball break right now. I also use my Nightbot for like giveaways and stuff. Estudio Twins autograph. Uh, fuego <laughs> but yeah man thank you for uh, tuning in hopefully I can hit a big time card here you know, this might be I don't know if this is big time but could be maybe Adoles Garcia well that's embarrassing the 250 Cardinals purple auto Twins with the Turtle Auto there and Garcia Cardinals. They already got a hit. Yeah, I would not be surprised if that is legit his illegitimate son. That is a photo variation. Luckily, I got that eye. Jake Bowers for the Indians. Code 409. That is a photo variation. You know, you see enough of this stuff eventually, you could just look at the card and be like, hmm, that looks different. I can't tell you how many times I've seen these cards over and over again. It's been burned into the memory. Nice Soto with the cup on there to seventy five. Very nice. Oh, nice Fuego. That's what's up, man. I'll check your channel out. Now we we literally what we do is we we break uh, boxes and cases of product on our channel. Uh, but if I was to compare this to anything, you ever see the QVC channel? Where they like sell stuff on their, on their TV channel or whatever? That's, that's basically what we do, you know. Most of the time, I am uh, trying to get brakes filled and whatnot.
two boxes left to go. Yeah, let me click on your channel here. Oh, I can't click on your... Hmm. It's kind of weird. I'll check your channel out, Fuego. Well, we're from Miami, Florida. We are based out of Miami, Florida. You're flagged. Oh, you mean my my nightbot maybe? Oh, I forgot I can go to your channel through this. You're in Orlando? Wow, what a small world. Well, I see your your channel here. I'll, sh I'll shoot you a subscribe to Fuego. There you go. But yeah, we're live every day, 5 o'clock Eastern Time. But yeah, de definitely would be down to, to do an interview or, or, or whatever. Second to last box here. Let's see what we got. Danny Jansen, Blue Jays purple to two ninety nine. Come on, need some hits. Michael Kopech. White Sox Refractor Auto. Tell me about it, Nick. Which is why I love Jumbo. Because they put a, a bunch of cards and it's only like eight Jumbo packs. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to Wawa and have them make me a sandwich. We recently got a Wawa right down the right down the right right down the block from my house. And it's always packed like no matter what time of the day it is. And I've had I've had one of the subs from there before, not that specific Wawa, but in my travels So I'll probably do that tonight. I'm pretty hungry. They also have like these uh this chicken Caesar wrap, which is the bomb digs. A gold. Nice. Looks even nicer with the pirate colors. Colin Moran to fifty. And now the last box mojo. Uh, Fuego, 
Our email is, well, funny enough, actually coming uh, through here on the bottom ticker. It's ripcitycards at gmail.com. It's at the bottom of the ticker right now. Ripcitycards at gmail.com. That sounds like fun. Definitely would be down to do something like that. Especially for a fellow Floridian. Dude, since you're not, you, you said you're in Orlando, right? You keeping tabs on that hurricane? You know, that cone looks like it's supposed to hit the entire state of Florida. It's a category three right now, that Dorian. I'm hoping it loses power in the next day or two. Because I, I planned on going to Georgia to visit family and uh, participate in some extracurricular activities. You got water. Well, that that you know that's how I know you're from Florida. <laughs> Very minimal preparation. You know, Floridians, we're uh, we're a different breed. Anybody else would be freaking out. Oh my God, it's a hurricane! What am I gonna do? I gotta leave. I gotta evacuate. Not us. We hold it down. We throw hurricane parties. That's what we do. Casinos don't exist in Texas. Really? That is a little weird. Well, then again, I mean, Nevada's close by, right? Vegas? Which I have yet to go. Anyway, last box mojo. Good luck, everybody. Especially those without a hit. Lariano. He's autograph. Ooh, it's a redemption. Danny Jansen, rookie auto. Danny Jansen, I think, is a Blue Jay? Yeah, he is a Blue Jay. Maybe hit a Super Fractor parallel here. Got a negative for a Syndergaard Mets. <laughs> Got a Manny Machado relic for the Orioles. Yeah, Mets destroyed this break with that Peter Alonso card. Other than that, this case was kind of... The Alonso was by far the biggest hit. Everything else was kind of uh, pedestrian, if you will. And that does it for the break. Sorry, Rory. Put this 
away. All right, so let's recap our hits. Now there was another. Here it is. So we got a relic for Machado of the Orioles. We have the case hit for Tommy Pham of the Cardinals, patch out at a 50. A redemption for the Blue Jays, Danny Jansen. Our autographs are, well, before I show you the rest of the autographs, we got a couple of photo variations that are pretty cool. Three of them, actually. We've got a couple oranges, a blue Soto wave, some golds. We got three photo variations of Sheffield Mariners. A gold, I'm sorry, a green judge for the Yankees and a Bowers Indians refractor. All three of those are photo variations. Pretty cool. And now for the autos. We got Laureano A's, James Astros, the A's. Let me put them in the green. Uh, Copic White Sox, 499. Garcia Cardinals. Estudillo Twins, Dugard Giants, Newman Pirates, Hudson Cardinals, Keller Pirates to 250. Yeah, the Judge Green is pretty big, that uh, photo variation. McNeil Mets, Baruki Blue Jays, Beaks of the Rays to 150. Garcia Giants, Valdez Astros, Stewart Orioles, Mullins Orioles. Shaw of the Giants to 99. Wilson Braves. Phil Meyer Royals. Kramer Pirates. Allard Braves to 499. Keller Royals. And the biggest hit by far. Peter Alonso of the Mets to 150. Gorgeous card. And that, my friends, is going to do it for the break. Thank you, everybody. We're gonna